All right, so look, this is gonna be um, Carmelo's house tour. I love house videos. I love Steam collection videos. Carmelo and Anthony's house is like a style. I, I guess it has like, from what I heard, it has like a like different type of stylish uh, rooms and stuff. Hopefully, it does because I've been wait, waiting to watch this so I can react to it. But um, yeah, we about to get into it right now. Let me see. What's up, AD? I'm Carmelo Anthony. Welcome to my home. Come on there. See, I'm a, I'm a big sneakerhead. I know most of these sneakers on the wall right now. I don't know what these are right here. That looks like a rare pair. Mind you, he's a Jordan, he's a Jordan brand athlete, so he get he gets like exclusive, exclusive stuff from Jordan brand, you know what I'm saying? The stuff that we never even seen before. Like that right there, I never seen this before, right? Here. If you can see my cursor, I hope you can see my cursor. Like the um the sneaker next to the the bread toe ones, like I never seen those before. There's a couple of sneakers on that wall I never seen before. Especially like those those little mellows at, at the bottom. I never seen those before either. Hopefully, now he has, I think he has another video where he's showing his sneaker collection, so I'm gonna react to that one too. But this one right now, just his house. Let me get back to it. My big welcome piece upstairs, that's Muhammad Ali, that's the focal piece in the house. He just gives so much energy, so much spirit, so much love when you Rest look at peace. that. I've been collecting art almost 15 years now. I was always into up and coming artists. And I just had an eye for what I like. And I realized quickly that I don't have to be so much spirit, so much love when you look at that. I've been collecting art almost 15 years now. See, I love, I love like African, like African history type of, type of art. Like that right there is dope. And that other picture, hold I on. I was always into up and coming artists. And I just had an this eye right for- This right here is dope. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know the meaning behind it at all. But you know what I'm saying? This right here is dope. Like a, like it has a lot of meaning behind it. You know what I'm saying? What I like. And I realized quickly that I don't have to like something because somebody else like it. I like it because it appeals to my mind, it appeals to my spirit, whether it's a dollar or $10. This is Swoon. She's a for what I like. And I realized quickly that I don't have to like something because somebody else like it. I like it because it- I understand that he, he's talking about something he likes, what he likes because like, you say, but he don't. He don't have to like what other people like and all that. But what the fuck is this? Like this. This is like some of the craziest, wildest coke addict shit I've ever seen in my life. It appeals to my mind. It appeals to my spirit. Whether it's a dollar or that's not appealing. Ten dollars. This is Swoon. She's amazing. I uh, grew up maybe three, four blocks away from her in Red Hook, Brooklyn. And this one, Bakahinde Wiley. He did a series of artists. I think it was myself, Spike Lee, and, and Swiss Beats. My inspiration behind this, well, I'm a big Game of Thrones fan. So that's the king right there. Come on now, I'm gonna take y'all to the, the most important room in here. And this is the music room, this is the green room. There's a lot of details in this place, so pay attention to the details. This is a big, Swoon piece. Uh, as you can see, I'm a, I'm a big Swoon fan. This is one of my first pair of signature sneakers with Jordan brand that I've... i never seen those before. It's dope. That I created here in New York. They're ugly, but they're dope. Like, they're an ugly sneaker, but it's dope. Uh, the history behind is dope. I'm, I'm sure you're gonna get into more rare. Uh, one of my first years, first seasons with New York. And the artist, okay. Domingo Zapata, did something for me at a dinner. It was part of a magazine cover release. We got I've been seeing all this African stuff in his house. I'm pretty sure he's half Puerto Rican too. If I'm not mistaken, he said like half Puerto Rican or half Dominican or something like that. Got a Kende Wiley skateboard, which is amazing. All my books, I love to read. Nigga don't even love culture. Me. I'm an Ali groupie. Anywhere you go in the house, you will always see a picture of Ali. So this shovel, the gold shovel, but this is the shovel we use to break ground. When we opened up Carmelo Anthony uh, Center in Syracuse. In this corner right here, this is Nelson Macomo, one of the best black artists, South African artists there is. He's just amazing, a good friend of mine. I went to his studio in, in South Africa, and this sketch wasn't even done yet. 
but I told him I wanted it and, and now it's here on my wall. So this is they watching us and this is our kids saying that, right? So that's a very powerful piece by Nelson. Here is some of my collection, a little bit. Some of them are gifts, some of them I purchased. I got Ali speeches. One of my favorite prizes over here is the Malcolm X Ballad or Bullet speech live. I just think that's one of the most powerful speeches of all time. It's dope to see that he's into like, like the like the the history of black culture and, and, and African American culture and all that for black American culture. You know what I'm saying? Because not a lot of athletes are into it, like how he's into it. He got like a, I see like already I seen like ten things like referring to black history and all that. So that's dope. Quick fact: Carmelo was actually one of my favorite players when I was real little. When I was real, real little, like I was like four years old. He was one of my favorite players. I used to love his hair, like all this right here. I used to love that shit when I was younger. Time. Working with Kasai is always a good, fun. When you have a partner and a teammate like that, that can, that knows you well and know how you think and know your vibe. She just worked towards putting that all into what this is right here. So when you see the different rooms and the colors of the rooms, it's like different moods of, of mellow. This is a plaque from my mom. She gave this to me back in 03. 20 years ago, she gave this to me just because. I love you, mom. All my gold medals. I think that's 08, 2012, and 16. Now I'll take you to where things really get popping in the bar. So welcome to the bar. This is my high school jersey, Oak Hill, uh, number 22. It's like a little celebratory area. Celebrating Oak Hill, celebrating retirement celebrating, getting drafted in 2003 from and then Don Perignon celebrating my 30th birthday. Cassandra did a great, great job at picking these lights. Uh, some things that I just let her do, like some of the fixtures, and you just got to let her bring her creativity See, out. I'll bring you back. Seeing houses like this is like real inspiring, I ain't gonna lie. That's what we working towards, you know? Back here to the bar so you can see what we have. I got into wine probably mid 2000s, not knowing what I was doing. To fast forward to now, I'm very particular with what I drink. So as you can see, it's, it's, there's a lot of first growths, Bordeaux's up here. First growths is like the the big boys of the of the wine game. The winemakers been there forever. They the first plants that was grown. This is a nice Latour, and if you want to have a good time, you come over here and have some wine. These are Cassandra's right here. She gifted these to me. We all know who Malcolm is and we all know who, who Martin is, but James Baldwin, y'all need to go read his books and listen to his speeches. He's one of the most powerful debaters that's out there. This is where the checks get cut. No, nah, I'm kidding, the checks get cut in LA. But this is kind of my sanctuary. My book, you know, you gotta have the, the memoir behind you, Where Tomorrow's On Promise. The chairs are amazing, they're comfortable. I did design them myself. I wanna give myself a pat on the back. This is not animal skin, okay? This is not animal, this is nothing animal over here. That chair is fire, I ain't gonna lie. I've never seen a chair like that with, with like fake snake skin in the, in the back and two different reds, like that's dope. Yeah, okay. This and he designed it himself. This is full. This is the memorabilia wall right here. This is the Ali gloves. This is big for me. The Social Justice Champion Award. So big shout out to Kareem for making me the inaugural winner of that. I love lounges. I love hotel lounges. I love uh, hotel lobbies, you can just chill, hang out, have a, you know, have a drink, coffee, tea, whatever is your, whatever is your preference. So this is that vibe over here, hotel, lobby, lounge, area, chess, books, you can always read a book. Again, details, life fixtures, amazing. You gotta keep the snakes with you, you know, just in case. Keep the snakes with you just in case. This is, to me, one of Nelson Macomo's most powerful pieces. By the title of this, which is Forgive Them, I assume that this kid is thinking about 
all the that happened to him and it's happening constantly and he's trying to send that message he definitely makes me want to buy that or like by looking to that dude nelson mccall mccomo mccomo let me see what his name is. Hold on. chess books you can always read a book again details life fixtures amazing you gotta keep the snakes with you you know just in case that nigga said details <laughs> again details <laughs> case keep the snakes with you just in case this is to me one of Nel nelson macomo yeah i gotta look him up nelson macomo nelson macomo's most powerful pieces by the title of this which is forgive them i assume that this kid is thinking about all the that happened to him and it's happening constantly and he's trying to send that message to forgive them right if you forgive them then that burden comes off of of you you don't have to live with that no more it's on them That's now and at the end of the day we forgive but we don't forget <laughs>I didn't want just a, a standard dining table. I don't have formal dinners. I don't sit down at the table and have full-fledged dinners. So when I'm in here, I want to eat and be creative at the same time, right? So Syracuse, you know, you have Define Yourself. You have Creative 7, the production company. You have Red Hook. You have Innovate. You have Baltimore. And then you have the flag of Puerto Rico and Great than that. So it gives it a different vibe, an artistic vibe. That was his only like Puerto, R Puerto Rican reference to his other half right there. Like <laughs> you, don't, you won't even know that's a you won't even know that's a Puerto Rican flag right there. He don't even look like it, look like Adidas Adida stripes. And you don't feel bored. I don't, I don't like to be feel bored in the in the dining lounge. It's just not about having art in the rooms and in the house. It's about being very intentional on what you put up. You know, each room has a different vibe, a different mode. So you want to be intentional about what you put in those areas, the energies that you put in those rooms. I call this the bathroom. Some people call it the powder room. Surrounding, you know, is my guy. You know, you got Ali, you got the special wallpaper right here. This is flavored paper. I know it's a lot of Ali, but when you can't Please. beat that wallpaper right there. Lovely. I collect shoes because I wear shoes, to be honest with you. I don't collect them to just let them sit. I collect them to wear them. I'm Yeah, this this new this new like sneaker game is so crazy that people people buy sneakers just to just to have them and, and never wear them. Like you're supposed to wear the sneaker, like you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to wear the sneaker. And like and, and I could tell when somebody's like a new sneakerhead too, because they only get certain sneakers and certain silhouettes of a sneaker and and a lot of times you don't wear all of them, you know what I'm saying? Like like me personally, my favorite, you know, I'm gonna say that from my sneaker, sneaker collection video. I'm an active collector. In wine, I collect to drink. In sneakers, I collect to wear. In clothes, I collect to wear. It's my first signature shoe of all time. So this is what, what kicked it off. And let me, I just wanna be clear. I was the first Jordan brand signature athlete uh, ever, the first. I was just excited to have my own signature shoe with a Jordan brand or a brand like that. And then we actually made a great shoe. So I will always be grateful for this sneaker right here. So these Jordans right here, my son actually designed to have my own signature shoe with a Jordan brand or a brand like that. And then we actually made a great shoe. So I will always be grateful for this sneaker right here. I never seen those before. See, that's that's like the best perk of, of being a Jordan brand athlete. Like you get sneakers like this, like people never even seen before. I I search sneakers up all day, watch watch stuff about sneakers all day, every day. Like I've never seen this the, these sneakers before. Like I can see Chris Paul getting this sneaker because because he when he played for the Clippers, like this is like some of some of the colorways, and I'm pretty sure he got like a Jordan Five that was like this. But but this right here, I never seen this. this is a Jordan Three, like with a red bottom. Baby blue, like, yeah, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. You can tell they're dead stock, too. So these Jordans right here, my son actually designed these or created these. So these are his, as you can see. Cayenne. And this is called the What the Cayenne. 
instead of what the <laughs> what the Cayenne. My first pair of Jordans I didn't get until my senior year in high school at Oak Hill. And that was only because they was a, a Jordan sponsored school team. And that was my first pair of Jordans. So now going from that to being the, the first signature athlete at a Jordan brand after never being able to have a pair, it's full circle. I can tell off rip, he got, he got some shit right there. Just off right there, that scene right there that I could tell. The best thing about it, this room is this bed. Oversized bed, comfortable bed. If you don't sleep well, your day don't go well, right? Over here, again, there's Nelson Macomo everywhere all over the house, but this particular portrait is the perfect image. It's the perfect energy that you need outside of it being a, a great painting and the messaging behind it. I just think just, you just gotta get a look at the eyes and then you can see the soul of this actual room. This may be one of the most powerful pieces that I have. Like, what is that even, like, what is this? Like, what? When we talk about the money, money being the root of all evil, and you, some people say you change when you get money, right? So when you got the money, you put the oh. face on it. Jay-Z said it best, you could try to change, but that's just the lie. top layer. You are who you are before you got here. So no matter how much money you got, you're gonna always be who you are behind that mask. Oh. See, see, yeah, yeah, I was wrong. That was that's actually a great meaning behind that. Like I, I would buy that painting. Like that's that's a great meaning behind that one right there. I thought it was just some bullshit and people like you not know, people try to stretch stuff over. This means that like it don't even mean that, you know. But that I could see the meaning behind that right there. This is my mindfulness meditation. You can hear the waterfall flowing. This room doesn't need art. The thoughts in your mind is, that's the brush, right? So however way you want to paint this canvas, you do that. You know, it was intimidating at one point in time. You need to meditate, you need to like, it's intimidating. Um, but once you find out your space, that you can go to that space and you can sit there and you can be still and you can breathe and you can embrace it, the thoughts, but let them go uh, one at a time. So. I've, I've been able to do that for a while. Um, yeah, it helps me. Uh, I recommend it. Uh, and I recommend you to find you a, a sanctuary like this where you can get away for a couple minutes a day and, and breathe and get your mind right and reset and bounce back. This is my son's room. As you can see, he got, you know, his favorite players, his uncles. These are, these are like family to him. These are important. This was a Stop the Violence campaign. This is Trayvon Martin. We got Malcolm X. We got Jam Master J. We got Biggie, Tupac, Big L. So this was a hip hop series that uh, was created for kind of stop the violence and stop the shooting. And so you put him on the stop sign and do nine inch signs. And this is his room, 16 years old. So I try to stay out this room. <laughs> All right, AD, I let y'all come in my crib. Now it's time for y'all to get on out of here. I gotta get back to work. See y'all soon. Peace out. Yeah, I ain't got much to say about that. That was a good video. Definitely an uh, inspiring house tour. Uh, I wish he got, I wish he got into his sneakers a little bit more. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure there's another video where, he, where he's like talking about his sneakers a lot more, but I'm definitely look for that. Um, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and we're gonna get another one.